Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, I will show you how we have created this employee turnover dashboard in Microsoft Excel. This is a ready to use dashboard to review the employee turnover or the employee attrition rate. If you are working in the HR department, this will be very helpful to analyze the employee turnover. This is the overview page of the employee turnover dashboard and here we are showing the active headcount terminated headcount, resigned count and here we are showing the terminated plus resigned which is the total attrition. Here we are showing the turnover percentage. Then we are showing the active headcount by the location, total headcount by the gender and here we are showing the total headcount by month of exit. Then here we are showing the total headcount by status and here the resigned percentage. Then on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have given some slicer to filter the data like I want to see the gender wise data let's say for females only or males only so that will be changed accordingly or location wise then you can change it by location also or even age band wise less than 20 years 25 to 34 35 to 44 and you can see the, that information. Here you can see by the department also as you want you can select any department accordingly it will filter that date. Now we have given on the top navigation pan so you can navigate to the another page like I want to see the exit insights. So I'll simply click on the exit insights button. Now it will take you to the exit insight page wherein we are showing the resign count by the locations and this is the terminated plus resign the total turnover by the is band and here resign percentage by the department and resign percentage by the month of exit. So you can see that information on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have the slicer to filter the data. You can filter it again as you want. Now to see the department related information so you can just click on the departmental turnover. So it will show you the department related information like resign count by the department. So you can see maximum resigned are coming from the marketing department and then fol followed by the operations department. Turnover percentage by the department we can see here and this is the active headcount by the department and terminated percentage by the department. We have created some advanced level charts for here like uh, this kind of glass chart and this field circle chart to show you the information. Then you can go to the gender based trend also. So here we have uh, created gender icons. So you can see the active headcount by the gender, terminated count by the gender, resigned count by the gender and the resigned percentage by the age band. Now let's go to the joining and exit trend. So here we are showing the active headcount uh, by joining month and here we are showing the resigned headcount by the exit month. Again you can filter the data as you want. Now I will show you the data also and how you can update your data and you just need to refresh the dashboard. All the charts, everything will be refreshed automatically. So first let's go to the file, then go to the options and just go to the advanced and scroll it down slightly. Let's come to this option that is display option for this workbook and just check the so sheet tabs. Just click on OK. Now you can see at bottom we have that various seat tabs and the seat tab name is the exact same which is the dashboard page name. Okay. Now we have a data seat tab also. Now in the data we are showing here employee ID, employee name, gender, department, location, age band, joining date. Then we are showing the current status of that employee like it is active, terminated or resigned. If it is terminated or resigned then we are showing here exit date and reason for exit then the tenure in days and then we are showing here year of joining, year then joining month, year of exit, exit month and then we have put some calculations here to create the calculated field like total active headcount terminated resigned and the sum of terminated and resigned. Okay, so we have created some calculated field in the pivot table. Now first of all we have created the support sheet to create this dashboard. So in the support sheet we have captured various pivot tables so that we can create the dashboard and this is a table you can see the name of the table here that is data. So if you append your data here just append your data here or you can delete just keep the headers and you can delete all the data 
and once you delete the data you can put your data here and after that you just go to the data tab on the excel live in and just say refresh all from here so the whole dashboard will be refreshed each and every page will be refreshed because all the pages of this dashboards are connected with this support sheet in the support sheet we have various pivot tables the first uh, we have put here uh, the title of the page you can see this is for the overview so that means these all pivot tables are for the overview page so that you can check how we are uh, creating this so these small pivot tables are basically for these cards so we have here cards for active headcount terminated headcount and these all so we are showing here these pivot tables then here we are showing the terminate the uh, turnover rate and then we are showing the location wise headcount so these all pivot tables we have captured then the next page is the exit insights the second page this one so then we are creating the pivot table for that page then this is the third page then we are capturing here all the pivot table for that then the next page then these all then the next page okay so that is how we have created this dashboard we have created the support seed then on the basis of that support seed we have created this dashboard now coming to the design part of this dashboard we are using the various pictures and we are using the excel shapes to create that first let me unprotect this sheet this is protected without any password so you can simply go to the review sheet tab then just click on unprotect sheet the sheet is unprotected without asking any password that means no password is required it is just protected without any password now you can select any shape here if i move you can see this is the another rectangle in the back end we have the another rectangle then here we have the small rectangles and the cards and here also we have the charts and the small rectangle you can see okay so you can move any chart any rectangle as you want okay then on the top we have created this navigation pan this is also the rectangle so you can see i can move this here and i can move this here then we have applied the hyperlinks here so you can simply right click and you can go to the link but here we have already applied so you can go to the edit link or you can press ctrl k also in your keyboard as you press the ctrl k this edit hyperlink or the hyperlink window will be opened wherein you can select the place in this document and here you can see all the sheet tabs which are available in your dashboard will appear you can select the name of the sheet tab wherein you want to jump using that button for example if i click on this button i should be jumped on the exit inside page so i can press here ctrl k and i can select the exit insights and it will take me to the a1 range of that particular seat and just click on ok in the screen tip you can show whatever when someone will take the mouse on that button it should display this text go to exit inside so let me show you if i click on ok and if i take the mouse here then it is showing me this go to exit insights and if i click it will take me to this particular page again we have here various buttons so if i click here it will take me to the previous page so using the hyperlinks we are jumping to the another page so we are using for the navigation purpose now coming to these slicers here we have created the slicers so slicers are connected with all the pivot table if i right click here and go to the report connection you can see we are connected with each and every pivot table so that means if i click here it will show the data for female employees and if i will go to the another sheet everywhere in the dashboard it will show the data for the female employees only that means if you click on any slicer on any page it will filter whole dashboard not only that particular page okay so that is how we have created now i will quickly show you how you can create this type of cards also so let me add a new sheet here the blank sheet and let's go to the view and uncheck the grid lines from here let us insert a rectangle so let's say i'm taking this rectangle here pick the yellow handle and move to the left hand side you can fill here some light color let's say i'm taking this one and uh, shape outline you can choose some outline like this and take the outline bit as half point this one now let's insert another rectangle here but this time we will take a different rectangle that is this one 
it is the top corner rounded and just drag that here let's put this here take the shape outline as uh, this one and shape fill also this one or you can take little darker let's say this one then go to the shape fill again go to the gradient and let's select this one okay so that is how we have created this top section and uh, then you can put the title there as you want here okay now create the cards you can again go to the insert and let's take first another shape so let's take this rectangle shape fill as just take the white fill shape outline choose this one and make the weight of the outline as half point then we can make the copy of this particular uh, rectangle just copy and paste this is bigger one but let's make this smaller if you want to remove the shape outline just say no outline and we will rotate this so let's go to the rotate and rotate this as rotate left 90 and let's place this here basically we are creating a accent bar here like this then you can select both of the rectangles right click and make it a group now let's insert a text box here take the text box from here and just drag that text box here just click on this go to the formula bar press equal to and come to the support seat let's say i am showing the active head count just click here and hit the enter now let's put the active head count here align this center middle and take the font color this one make this bold slightly smaller shape outline as no outline shape fill as no fill now make the copy of this press ctrl c and v and then paste that here the second one and just go to the formula bar press equal to this time we will connect with the number of the head count right just hit the enter so we are showing the number here we can take this and take the format painter and just click here and make it bigger so that is how we have created the cards here and to learn more about how we can create this type of charts slicers and the dashboard and the pivot table using the calculated field and some other calculation you can join our udemy course wherein we have explained each and everything in detail as well as you will get the practice file for each topic so that you can practice with me inside the course so you can join our course link is given in the video description box all right friends Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for the watching.